Uh, good afternoon. Thanks, Chairman. I am Mehmet. Um, we are uh, working on this project. We call it We Safe Wearable Self Powered Environmental Monitoring Devices uh, for Safety Applications. Um, this is basically a collaborative work between um, some, some group in our university and, and my student, Fan Bu, he's the primary author for uh, this work. I'll just skip the outline. Um, we had this project, IoT for environmental monitoring. We developed uh, self-powered wearable, uh, sorry, self-powered fixed environmental sensors. So we placed them around the campus uh, and, and the energy harvesting uh, for those fixed sensors based on a solar panel. So they don't operate based on battery and, and then we wanted to place them around the campus to monitor environment for, for long term without changing the battery. So if you know IoT, the battery is a big problem. You don't wanna keep changing the battery. So you somehow you need to use energy harvesting. So energy harvesting is our primary work for our environmental sensors and, and, and for wearable sensors. When we did this project, so we, we placed them around the campus. We work with a lot of groups in our universities in terms of understanding the environment, because as you place more sensors there, you can get collect more data. We are collecting a lot of data and, and, and they, they like to collaborate. They want to understand. They're doing all the IoT related deep learning data um, management for the data, collect, data we collect. But after, after the fixed sensors, we, we start thinking about can we make them wearable? So this in that uh, picture is, is, is the wearable environmental sensors we developed. So basically what we did, we, we converted to the fixed sensors to a wearable unit. Again, we didn't want to have a battery problem. So we, we attached a small solar panel. This is basically the work today that we are presenting as self-powered, everything is self-powered based on solar panel. We are doing other energy harvesting, but still not part of this IoT project yet. But this is primarily based on um, uh, solar panels. So we, we monitor UV, which is in context of Australia, very important. And then but we, we, we added other CO2 temperature and other data for wearables. So the way it works, we have fixed sensors and then wearable sensors. So it's giving us some exciting data collection. So not just fixed sensors everywhere, and then we can place them on the body. As an example, in a campus, attach them to the students, you can generate some very interesting data as, as they walk around the campus or in, in, in a city. So this is overall implementation. The way we did it, we, we, it is based on LoRa, very important for IoT, it's becoming very popular. We, did, we started with XP, now we are changing to LoRa. Uh, there are advantages, I'm going to talk about that later. And, and this is the sensor boards with all the electronics uh, we, we, we developed. Um, so this is a solar panel. So we wanted to be able to harvest energy outdoor as well as indoor. So we wanted to understand the characteristic of that tiny small solar panel that we are using. Uh, These are the characteristics for outdoor and indoor. Based on, we look at the light density and then we, we understand the power, amount of power that actually we harvest. So this is giving us uh, some information in terms of also how kind of control the data transmission. So if you are in network, you know, you can put the data transmission in, in, in sleep mode and you can conserve, you can save the power. So you can do some of those interesting in the sensor network. This is overall of the block diagrams and I mean, with, with all the power management and, and things. This was the, the commercial uh, power, um, the, the, the unit which is for MPPT. So this MPPT is maximum power point. Um, if you're doing solar based energy harvesting, high voltage doesn't mean high power, you need to implement an MPPT. So this MPPT, uh, we, the one that this, this one is working based on a voltage rating. So based on the, the open voltage, there's some, some ratio after that open voltage that it converts to the, the optimum point. And we implemented a switch to be able to turn off and turn on the, the sensors to, to, to make sure the energy, the power we get from energy harvesting overall is, is good enough to have a continuous monitoring. So the reason we are using LoRa, uh, 
if if somehow you're in IoT, you know these are the wireless um, modules that you can use. These are VLE, Zigbee, Sigfox, XP, and LoRa. Uh, we selected LoRa. There are some advantages: longer distance, higher sensitivity, and then and then sleep current. The power was the, one of the main reason. But as I mentioned before, we are using we have used XP before. Uh, we haven't compared them in detail, but our nodes, we have both XP and LoRa as well, but now we are mainly focusing on LoRa. For the wearable nodes, the, the, these are the sensors, the commercial sensors we used. They are like, we focus main, mainly on low power, low sleeping, low sleeping operations, so when things are in, in sleeping mode, they don't consume the leakage power is as low as po possible, because as an example, if you are in, indoor, the energy harvest is quite low. We wanted to make sure that is we are earning from the energy harvesting. This is the website. We have a website for another system. We, we collect all the data and other users. We let other people that we collaborate, even external people, to be able to download the data we are collecting. So we're collecting all the raw data. We, 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 we um, data being analyzed, all that. But this is just to show that the overall the IoT platform is, is operating. Um, in terms of the wearable nodes, we have few modes, uh, like four, they are in the four modes. Uh, you, you, there are sensors, there is a wireless, and then, and then there is MCU. So MCU is the one that is working to put things in, in the sleep mode. These are just showing the power we measure from a wearable nodes each time, how much power is being consumed. This is how we control the wearable nodes based on the energy we are harvesting. So the, the, the block that we highlighted there, that is kind of uh, something interesting that we are doing. We adjust duty based on the amount of energy we have. We don't want to keep consuming power, which you don't, you don't, you don't harvest enough. So that means the wearable is going to be in off node. The charging characteristics when it is indoor. This is how we we are using a super capacitor, of course, not the battery. This is how it is being charged when the lights on. <coughs> And, and then when lights off, is, is, is showing the supercapacitor is being charged. Once it's fully charged, the MPPT algorithm is, is once in a while, that spikes you see here, that's when MPPT algorithm once in a while is, 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 is working to put the, 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 um, the power management into the MPPT region, which is the maximum power. When it is maximum power, we get maximum charge in, into the solar panel. So this is when everything is in a perfect mode, when we have sufficient voltage level, and then, then, then the, the sensor node will work. And then the, the same color characteristics for when it is outdoor, is of course the charging is very fast. All the sensors can work. The duty cycle can be a lot faster. So you can adjust whether you are staying too much indoor and too much outdoor. The network will adjust the duty cycle accordingly. This is again very like in 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 outdoor in very very sunny and then showing the sensor nodes have been discharged and charged and then one time you also covered completely is dischar discharging for this is several days of data we collected just to understand how overall is working so in terms of the range LoRa wearable unit that device we had we placed on the person and you can move around and it was 500 meters the person can move in, in, a, in, in a region. Again, you have wearable, we have fixed nodes, but there is a gateway. So this is kind of the distance between gateway and the wearable nodes you have. Um, it's, it's a little bit like, I don't know if you guys know the body area network concept, wearable devices, you have a gateway, the control unit on the body, but in this case, the gateway is outside, is not attached to the body. You have only that wearable device. This is a data showing all with, with the self-powered data being collected without battery, with energy harvesting, UV, that's when it's outside, then you go inside, so it's inside, <coughs> outside, and inside, and then you can see the temperature is accordingly two devices being placed on two person, and then as the data we, we have been collected showing the whole the system is working without self-powered. Um, Basically, so now we are at the stage of collecting data and analyzing the data and then putting more, more sensors on the people, collecting more data and then different energy harvesting into the, our IoT platform. That's all I have. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you.